Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. Everywhere I go, everyone asks me, Rich, what's the number one pick that you would suggest to investors? Now, there's a lot of different picks that we talk about every day. I personally am invested in a lot of different companies, but one of the companies that I think has incredible potential is Neo Battery Materials. They are now expanding into the United States. They're about to do an investor conference. They have huge, huge, huge news. Seems as though they continue to bring out great news on a consistent basis. I believe that they have a chance to be a huge winner in 2023 and beyond. And we're going to talk about it right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV Live. Don't touch that dial. Remember, if you like these videos, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Without any further ado, let's get into it a little bit further. Neo Battery Materials, the symbol in Canada, NBM. The symbol in America, NBMFF. Let's take a look right here, right now, at Neo Battery Materials. All right, so I want to give you a big update on everything that's happening with Neo Battery Materials. First and foremost, Vancouver-based startup Neo Battery Materials is expanding into the United States. This is huge news. A Vancouver-based lithium-ion battery materials company has just reported that they have expanded into the United States to pursue business opportunities there, as well as open a manufacturing plant. This is Neo Battery Materials Limited, a low-cost silicon anode materials developer building longer running rapid charging lithium ion batteries. The new US subsidiary is called Neo Battery Materials America, LLC, NBM America. Last week, Neo reported that it has successfully incorporated Neo Battery Materials America, LLC, under the provisions and requirements of the state of Delaware as a wholly owned and operated subsidiary. NBM America will now allow active and aggressive business development and relationship building initiatives to market NEO's core silicon anode materials in the United States. The management team is expected to visit Ohio and Kentucky in late March and early April to select the site for operation. The agenda involves building and strengthening business relationships with EV battery industry players and governmental organizations that include the Ohio Economic Development Association, Jobs Ohio, and Ready Cincinnati. MBM America intends to secure strategic capital and funding to enable U.S. commercial plant construction and create financial capacity for silicon waste recycling and other battery-related value-added products. Neo's goal is to become a silicon anode active material supplier to the electric vehicle industry and you know we love electric vehicles and we're a big fan of Neo Battery Materials. Once again, this is their website, neobatterymaterials.com. And you can see the symbol in the right corner in Canada on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange on the symbol NBM and in America on the OTCQX Exchange under the symbol NBMFF. All right, the next piece of news that everyone needs to be aware of is Neo Battery Materials will be participating in the Electric Vehicle and Auto Tech Virtual Conference presented by Maxim Group and hosted by MVEST on March 30th. So put that on your calendar. March 30th, Neo Battery Materials, a low-cost silicon anode materials developer that enables longer-running, rapid-charging lithium-ion batteries, announces that Chief Executive Officer Spencer Huh and Corporate Development Manager Danny Ha will participate in the Electric Vehicle and Auto Tech Virtual Conference presented by Maxim Group and hosted by MVEST on Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Now, this is their website, neobatterymaterials.com. You can see right here the NBM Korea Current Developments, South Korea Silicon Anode Commercial Plant Construction, and the new commercial plant, can do 240 tons per year. So huge increase, 24 times increase for optimization and positive results. Target completion for the first half of 2024. So we're not that far away anymore. 
The presentation will be participated on March 30th, 2023 at 10 a.m. Eastern. The ongoing adoption of electric vehicles, more technology in automobiles, and lighter and more efficient batteries can create opportunities for companies in many sectors. Executives involved in different parts of the electric vehicles and auto tech markets will discuss future opportunities and sector changes. This conference will be live on MVEST to attend. Just sign up to become an MVEST member. Now, you can go to this news. All you got to do is go on their website, go to Investor Relations, go hover over News, click on News. And then once you click on News, it'll give you all the latest news right here on the website. And you can see here all the latest news. And on March 17th, this is the news. Click on that. And then that will give you a link. When you go down on the news, you can literally click on the link right here to reserve your seats and learn more about the conference right in the news. All right. So that's the news as far as the investor conference on March 30th, on Thursday, March 30th, 2023 at 10 a.m. Eastern. And don't forget the symbol for Neo Battery Materials in Canada on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange is NBM. In America on the OTC QB Exchange, NBMFF. All right, so there's some more news that just came out on March 22nd, and we're gonna take a look at the news release right here. Neo Battery Materials provides South Korean commercial plant and corporate update. So some of the key points of this press release in discussions with three contractors for RFQ in two weeks, and we'll select the best contractor based on critical procurement factors. Additional materials evaluation with further enhanced silicon anodes and three US-based battery cell manufacturers, including a solid state battery developer, engage with working partners to carry forward collaborative ventures in domestic and international markets, and in the final stages of securing prominent US, BC venture capital, clean tech and battery funds for long-term reliable and value enhancing strategic investment. So lots of news happening here with Neo Battery Materials. That's why everyone needs to put it on their radar and on their watch list. Now, I always like to take a look at everything that's happening with these companies. I always like to look at the stock and the share structure. So right now, NBM, FF in America, NBM in Canada, just looking at both stocks, you can see right here, Neo Battery Materials so far in 2023 has done amazing. It started off at around 17 cents in January of 2023, hit a high of 50. That's a 200% gainer and investors took profits as they should when you're up 200%. And right now it's sitting right around 31 cents. So it's up almost 100% right now on the year and it's just getting started. So I think it's one that everybody needs to be aware of. This is their US symbol, and we're gonna mark the high, high, and the low, low. So the high, high in America is 36 cents so far in 2023. The low, low is nine cents, and we're currently sitting at 20 cents. And if you zoom in, you can see we're kind of in the middle of the Fibonacci's trading just above the moving averages. So literally right on the moving averages, so it's kind of in the middle of where it's been as far as high, high, low, low. We believe that there's a lot of upside from here, but obviously as an investor, you always wanna know where the low zone is, the high zone, and try to buy on dips if you're trying to get into the stock. Now, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. Now, when you go to their website, neobatterymaterials.com, for those who have missed the January 2023 webinar, all you got to do is click on the link below, subscribe to their channel for more updates on Neo Battery Materials, okay? And from there, you go into the website and you're going to get tons of information about the company. And on the right-hand side, you can actually see all of their social media. Feel free to go and follow them on social media. You can follow them on their Twitter, their YouTube, and their LinkedIn, okay? Now... Neo Battery Materials is disrupting the lithium ion battery industry with silicon anode materials. If you scroll down, you can see all of their latest news. 
And then if you continue to scroll down, you can see some information about Neo battery materials. Now to give you some info on the company, I think this is a company that has a lot of potential. And I think that electric vehicles are one of the fastest growing industries in the world. But one of the problems that electric vehicles has is battery life. So Neo Battery Materials is one of the companies that is trying to enhance the battery life. Silicon Anode Solution for EV batteries is what Neo Battery Materials is really focusing on. They are really disrupting the lithium ion battery world, okay? And they are focused on silicon materials for lithium ion batteries in electric vehicles. The company is looking to develop silicon anode materials through NBM side, okay, which is trademarked through proprietary nano coating layers to transform the anode material space for the EV industry. The energy density of a lithium ion battery is highly dependent on anode material. Integrating silicon with graphite in the anode can increase battery storage capacity by nine to 10 times. That is a game changer, as well as help reduce battery cost and increase charging speed. So this is why so many people are messaging me from literally all over the world asking me about Neo Battery Materials. And despite the company's strong ties to South Korea, where Neo Battery Materials will initially invest 24 billion KRW or approximately 25 million Canadian to support the construction and expansion of a silicon anode commercial plant, they are more recently focused on expansion in the United States, which I talked to you about earlier. In January, NEO announced it was establishing NBM America Limited. And you can see here, making a big shift in battery technology. And in the United States, a US subsidiary, NBM America will achieve, seek US expansion opportunities that include the company's core silicon anode business and any new projects in the battery materials space. So a lot of big news and a lot of updates and upgrades happening on a consistent basis with Neo Battery Materials. The subsidiary will allow closer interaction with US-based parties that are currently under non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, to expedite business and collaborative activities. It is also anticipated that NBM America will be able to secure funding opportunities from state-level programs and federal-level initiatives that include the Inflation Reduction Act and Department of Energy funding. The subsidiary will also target accessing the large pool of US venture capital funding and focuses on clean tech, thematic investing, and strengthening EV, electric vehicle infrastructure, assuming those targeted companies are not tangled up with the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, SVB. So they are obviously very aware of everything that's happening on a global scale and they are trying to get the right partners to help them continue to move forward in expanding into America. NDAs and LOIs are driving potential commercial relationships. We've talked about a lot of the news that's coming, the NDAs that are coming, the LOIs that are coming, which are letters of intent. And you can see here, Neo Silicon Anode Nanocoding Technology, right here. And pursuing this strategic Appear, and this strategy appears to be paying off because by the end of February, Neo Battery Materials was announcing it had signed five additional NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, in the EV battery industry, including a U.S.-based investment bank and a private equity firm. The company also further elaborated on its U.S. aspirations, stating that they plan to establish an R&D research and development center to manufacture silicon anode samples for North American battery manufacturers. That's so big, to expedite the timeline for joint venture opportunities. This facility will improve logistical efficiency by reducing the time between material evaluation and optimization. A week later, Neo issued a press release that it had signed a letter of intent, LOI, with a developer of robust, durable polymer electrolytes for silicon anode optimization with a spin-out company from a top U.S. university. The LOI will jointly explore opportunities to integrate the counterparts polymer electrolyte technology into NEO's silicon anode system to improve performance by effectively controlling the silicon volume expansion issue. 
Additionally, the non-flammable nature of polymer electrolytes can provide increased safety improvements as opposed to conventional liquid electrolytes, preventing the risk of battery fires and explosions. Although it has been a while since I've seen a video of Tesla burning on the side of the road. So jump ahead to this week and Neo has confirmed plans to do a tour of various locations in the United States. The company announced that management is expected to visit Ohio and Kentucky in late March and early April to select a site for the US headquarters location, which I touched on earlier. The management team and key advisors also plan to visit New York City to hold meetings with prominent clean tech VCs, venture capitalists, and investment banking firms. So a lot of big things happening with Neo Battery Materials. This is the Neo Battery Materials focus on increasing charging speed and storage capacity with a nano-coated silicon anode. This is why I believe these guys have a chance to be game-changing. My final thoughts are that Neo Battery Materials has some pretty ambitious plans. But if those NDAs, those non-disclosure agreements, and LOIs, letters of intent, start leading to real deals that get closed, I think they're going to need both of their facilities in Korea and the United States to keep up with the business, which means this could be very explosive and we're still early in the game with this company. So, you know, put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. Do not forget to watch them. I'm going to show you some of the different areas. Look at this. Boosting energy density and significantly increasing battery life cycle. This is where I believe they are a game changer and 70 to 80% higher initial energy capacity compared to their competitors. This is where I believe they are extremely unique, okay? And getting funding from big clean tech firms in the United States will also support the build out in the United States and top up the treasury, which was sitting at around $2 million Canadian of working capital as of November 30th, 2022. The, current, the company currently trades at a baby market cap of only 30 million. I believe that that could grow exponentially if these NDAs and LOIs start to actually close. So really, really exciting. Now, always important to follow these companies on social media, keep up with all of their news, keep up with everything that's happening. This is their YouTube page, Neo Battery Materials Limited. Make sure you subscribe on their YouTube. This is their Twitter page. Make sure you're following all of their updates on Twitter. This is their LinkedIn. Make sure you are following everything that is happening on their LinkedIn. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring you CEO interviews, analysis. We love to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, early stage companies first. We believe Neo Battery Materials falls into that place, into that category. As you can see, huge potential here. And I believe they're just getting started. Thank you for watching, everybody. It's your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, bringing you Neo Battery Materials. Once again, the symbol in Canada, NBM. The symbol in America, NBMFF. Put on your radar, put on your watch list. And if you like these videos, smash the like button, comment on the video. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please comment on the video. It's your host of the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, saying, Have a nice day, everyone. We'll see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,